Moringa can be used for various purposes and is known for its high nutritional level. Although generally healthy, you should always consult a doctor before consuming it. In this Ancelis health video, we detail the health benefits of Moringa, how to take it, and its contradictions. What makes Moringa so special? Moringa contains 17 times more calcium than milk, one of the most important minerals for the body that strengthens the bones. 15 times more potassium than bananas, which help build muscles, manage heart activity, maintain the correct volume of body fluids, allow kidneys to filter blood, synthesize proteins, and have proper cell function. 25 times more iron than spinach, a mineral that enables the body to form hemoglobin, preventing fatigue, and is also good for keeping hair, skin, and nails healthy. 10 times more vitamin A than carrots, an essential vitamin to maintain normal vision, which helps the heart, kidney, and lungs to function properly and keeps the immune system in good condition. 9 times more protein than yogurt, which carries necessary substances throughout the body, more vitamin C than orange, which improves the absorption of the nutrients we eat, helping to fight diseases and aid recovery from various ailments. What is Moringa for? There are numerous purported health benefits of Moringa. Among its most common uses, it's believed to help rejuvenation due to the presence of natural antioxidants. These help eliminate toxins that deteriorate the body and maintain healthy skin. Some believe it's also helpful for weight loss. This is because Moringa contains vitamins B1, B2, and B3, which fight fats and saturated calories. As a supplement and provider of nutrition, Moringa can maintain health to fight disease. Among them, we can find anemia, diabetes, and osteoporosis. Regarding anemia, Moringa leaf powder contains 28 milligrams of iron per 100 grams. This participates in the production of hemoglobin, so it can be very beneficial for people with anemia. Likewise, Moringa may also help with diabetes by regulating the body's metabolism, something which helps cells capable of secreting insulin properly. Its leaves contain 500 milligrams of calcium for every 100 grams, so it's potentially good for bones. However, it should only be used as a supplement and not a replacement for treatments prescribed by a doctor. How to consume Moringa Moringa can be consumed in different ways depending on how you buy it. For example, fresh leaves can be cooked like spinach. The pods can be eaten boiled, steamed, or even in a soup. On the other hand, the flowers should be put in boiling water for five minutes. Then you can put a little sugar. Finally, the seeds can be cooked as beans, either boiled or made with rice. Also, in case you don't like its smell on its own, you can prepare Moringa burgers, pizza with Moringa, Moringa with spaghetti, and other foods. Moringa Contradictions you should not consume Moringa if you are pregnant, have sleeping disorders, or have low blood sugar levels. Also, keep in mind that excess Moringa has a laxative effect. It can produce acidity and increase the production of red blood cells. Always ask a doctor before taking supplements to treat a disease. This is today's video from Unsalis Health. If you liked it, give us a like and write us any other questions or suggestions in the comments below. We'll see you next time.